Cultivating Calmness podcast. My name is Kayla Vance. Thank you for joining me today. I just want to talk a little bit about differences and similarities in the people that we spend our time with. And this is coming up because of the political atmosphere and all the things going on in our country right now. And some of the ways that I see people talking about each other and um, thinking about each other and um, you know, this has been going on for a long time, especially the last four or five years. Uh, but really, you know, when it comes to elections and things, at least in America, um, things can become very contentious uh, and very, you know, sided. Meaning, you know, if you don't believe or think what I think, then I want nothing to do with you. And we can become uh, very separated and, you know, very stuck to our own group of people, our own ways of thinking. And um, I guess the question is, is that good for us? Is that good for you to only be associated with people who think the way that you think? And I would say generally, that's probably not the best thing for us as a society. We are made, you know, to critically think, to learn new ways of thinking, to um, try to understand things differently. Now, just because other people think differently than you or believe things that are different than things that you believe, does that mean that listening to them, hearing them out is going to change your mind? No, not necessarily. Does it mean that you won't change your mind? No. And is it okay if you change your mind? Is it okay if you don't change your mind? I would say yes. Um, does that mean that you can't be family or can't be friends or can't be colleagues or can't associate with certain people because they have different thoughts or beliefs than you do? Um, or does it mean that you shouldn't seek artists or um, go to events or have a doctor or go to a therapist or see any kind of provider or use any kind of service? because they don't agree with you? Um, I would say no. You know, there are many loving, caring people out there that care about you, care about your well-being, care about the art that you want to buy or the services that you need or the help that you need because you are a human being, not because of which political party you support or which religion you believe in or, um, you know, the color of your skin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, it's just that, you know, politics and, and really uh, big topics um, that can have very uh, polarizing views uh, can make these things very obvious and really disheartening. You know, we are, you know, at least in America, and uh, maybe we used to be, and maybe it's not like that as much anymore. I mean, I still believe that it is, but man, like we are supposed to be this melting pot of people coming from all over to want to be here, to want to uh, create a life for themselves and to um, you know, not only like represent them, but also to blend into like the society that we have here. So it's like a mix of both, right? Um, you know, when you make a pot of soup, you have all the individual things that come together to make one pot of soup that tastes really good because all of those things are mixed together. The same goes for our friendships, our um, professional relationships, um, acquaintances. You know, we all blend and mix together and we all hold our own role and have our own unique um, our, our unique specialties, our uniqueness, our strengths, the things that make us special, the things that we can do well, um, apart from somebody else. And when we bring everybody's uniqueness and everybody's peace into the mold, it makes for a better overall outcome and a better overall community. And, um, it's very sad to really see what happens. Um, and the reason I say politics is because if you have been not living under a rock in the last few weeks, you would know that things are really ramping up here in America, which um, I'm assuming most people, if you are listening, are listening in America. If not, um, you have probably heard about all the shenanigans that are going on here in America. Um, and I see this not only in 
uh, personal conversations with people. Uh, but as a therapist, you know, I am part of numerous therapists um, with uh, chats or pages, mostly on Facebook, where a therapist will go to either seek support or um, ask for uh, like consult or give advice or uh, any other reasons, but it's mostly for therapists. And you see a lot come out just in therapist world. So I assume um, that this comes out in other areas as well. And it's really disheartening to me to see the vitriol and the negativity and um, all the thoughts and opinions that come out in just between therapists. And uh, you know, I've seen it within my family, I've seen it within my friends, I've seen it um, out in the community. And you know, we tend to group with people that we agree with. Why? Well, because we feel more comfortable around those people. You you don't want to necessarily hang around a bunch of people who are um, going to be mean or are going to have extremely negative opinions of you. If you are uh, believing in a political party, let's say, and the person you're talking to is spewing lots of negative stuff, inferring that people that believe in this person are, you know, terrible and bad and scum and, you know, all these negative things. Are you going to want to speak up? Are you going to want to say, yeah, that person is me? Um, probably not. And I see that a lot in a lot of these therapists chat groups. Um, and I feel bad for those people that um, may have a different opinion. Um, I've seen therapists go after people. I've seen them, you know, kind of Facebook stalk them and will pull up stuff from their personal pages just to attack them because they have a different view um, or different perspective than them. And that's not right. So if you are one of those people, that's not right. Um, you can have a difference of opinion whoever you are, whatever your opinion is. I don't agree with a lot of opinions that I see. I don't go attacking you. Uh, I frankly, I tend to keep my mouth shut because I don't want to be one of those people that is attacked for having an opinion that maybe is different or slightly outside of what other people are thinking. I think those are good things to have in a conversation. It's good to show another perspective. Sometimes when we're in a world where we're only hearing the same things over and over and over again, we feel validated in our opinions, but that doesn't necessarily make what you're saying correct or accurate or good. Um, now, opinions are opinions. You can have opinion. I can have an opinion. They can be different. That's okay. I don't have to agree with your opinion. You don't have to agree with my opinion, but I don't have to be mean and hurtful to you because you have a different opinion than me and vice versa. Um, you know, I tend to, if I can have a cordial conversation and we can disagree, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to state my opinion and provide my evidence or my facts. And we can have this discord and we can have this back and forth conversation. It's when we can no longer have the conversation, the back and forth, that things don't go anywhere. Um, you know, the conversation isn't necessarily to get you to come over to my side. Of course, most people believe that that's what it is and would feel great if the other person comes over to their side. Um, you know, I would love that too. There are many topics where I'm like, I know I'm right, or I feel deep down in my heart that I am right. I wish you would just see the light and come over to my side again, whether it's politics or health or therapy or, you know, anything, it could be anything, right? Um, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. That doesn't mean it has to happen for us to continue to converse, to be friends, to move on with life together. Um, if we can acknowledge those differences and respect those differences um, and still be friends, I think that that makes for a good um, a, uh, a good progress and um, relationship and communication in life. So uh, I really just wanted to kind of throw that out there to anybody listening. Um, we could go down the rabbit hole and we can talk about, you know, the specifics and the things that I see in here. But really, I just wanted to, to say that, you know, why can't we get along? And why can't we have a polite discord? Why can't we talk um, and disagree? and still be friends and still get along and not spew hate and put other people down because they have different opinions than us. 
Um, it's not right. It's not good. It doesn't help any of us. At the end of the day, we are the ones that have to live with each other. Um, and if it has to do with politics, like, you know, those people out there don't have anything to do with our individual day to day lives interacting with each other. Now, again, those are many rabbit holes we could go down. I'm not going to go down those rabbit holes with you. I just wanted you to think about it. Um, if you have family members or friends who have different opinions than you, is that something that you can set aside? Is that something you can agree to disagree on? Is it something that you can um, respectfully agree to just not broach the subject on? Um, does that mean that that person is a bad person because they think something differently than you, because they believe in a political party um, or health subject or fill in the blank that is different than you? Generally speaking, I would say no. Um, are there people out there where that may be the case? I'm sure there are. There are exceptions to every rule and everything that we talk about here and everywhere else. Um, but I have many friends that don't agree with the things that I agree with. And at times I will share my thoughts and opinions and I put it out there. I want to educate. I want people to learn. And if they agree or they take that and then they have questions, I will answer the best that I can. If they don't agree, um, you know, that's okay too. And we will learn that maybe this is a subject we don't talk about, or we'll learn like, Hey, we can talk about this subject and we can still be friends. Um, so maybe, something for you to think about. Think about whether you can continue to have friendships and relationships with people who have different thoughts and opinions than yourself. Let me know what you think and uh, any other topics you'd like to hear about. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.